Are you guys getting ready to go into the water today? I know you're excited. You're crazy. The crazy for a good cause, right? I'd like to welcome you all to the second annual Sears Great Canadian Show. Blue here was here last year. Awesome. Blue here is it's their first polar bear dip ever. like the hospital for sick children in Toronto to find research and to be able to uh, give care to uh, give care to those who suffer to give care to those who suffer from cancer and their families. So thank you for coming and it's gonna be one degree warmer as soon as my speech is finished. Hey everybody have a great day. You guys are crazy. So what you're doing is really really important. It's uh, and what Sears are doing is really, really important. Vince, real thank you to you and your team. And Vince is really the guy that, uh, that organizes all kinds of events that raise a million dollars a year to help fight kids get uh, So, everybody's crazy. Not a time for long speeches. I can tell you that Sick Kids is really leading the fight worldwide against kids' cancer. There were 14,000 patient visits at the Sears Cancer Clinic this year, and uh, what you're doing is making a great difference. So, have fun. Thanks for helping fight kids' cancer cold. And I'd like to call upon a very, very brave young woman who has gone through the fight and is here today as a survivor. And I'd like to call on Jessica to come on. Hi, I'm going to start with you today for 14 years old. The year is my family routine consisted of family, school, friends, and dance classes. I was a competitive dancer who danced five days a week. I had a very active life. In September of 2009, when I was only 12 years old, I developed what I thought was a rash, but after I was doing a blood test at the Ajax Hospital, my life changed forever when I was told I had leukemia. It was blood cancer. They put us in an ambulance right away to bring me down to Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. I told my mom in the ambulance, don't worry mom, I'm going to be a leukemia survivor. But I was scared. I thought I might be in the hospital for a few days to take some medication, but the type of leukemia I had, AML, was very aggressive and so was the chemotherapy treatment. What that meant was when I have, I would have to endure five rounds of chemo, which meant I would have to live my life in sick kids hospital for six months. This meant I had to do on my home, school, my dancing, my friends, my new puppy, and my life while I battled with my cancer. The doctors said they had to hurt me to help me, so my new life at sick kid included IV me, blood transfusions, blood flow, CT scans, ultrasounds, and MRIs. It was endless. I experienced no side effects from this chemo, including weight loss, nausea, lack of appetite, and hair loss. I also had a few scary moments dealing with severe nosebleeds, serious infections, and allergic reactions to medications. After my first round of treatment, I went into remission. This meant there were no longer any leukemia cells in my body. When we got the news, we were so happy. I still may need a bone marrow transplant. So they tested my mom, my dad, and my sister Amy, who was only nine years old at the time, to see if they were a match. The odds were very low. But it was a miracle to learn that Amy was the perfect bone marrow match for me. We made the decision not to have a bone marrow transplant because I was doing so well. But my sister Amy is always here for me in the event I may need one in the future. She truly is her sister's keeper, and today Amy is here to speak upon just me. Hey Amy! completed four rounds of chemo because of the treatment that was killing my good cells in my body and it was too dangerous to have more. But I still was in the hospital for six months. I was then discharged home on February 18, 2010, my 13th birthday. It was the best gift ever. <laughs> I 
problem, the people who work there are amazing. My oncologist treated me as though I managed her personally. I know I did. I developed a trust in her. No matter what the situation was, I knew in my heart she had my back. Every year, got to know me as a person. They watched my dance videos and cheered the Canadian hockey team on with me during the Bank of Berlin Games. the hospital, the research, the medicine, and the people. And that's a living a normal life. I returned to school and graduated from grading with, with honors. I returned to competitive dancing and I even competitive cheerleading. On my 15th birthday this February, I will have reached my two year anniversary of being cancer free. I'm committed to fundraising for leukemia research. I want to help improve the hospital experience for kids just like me and to help the doctors someday find a cure for cancer. No child should have to endure what I did. My name is Jessica Kennedy from Sick Hospital saved my life. Thank you.